My colleagues and I were interested in the question, does inhibitory control moderate the relationship between behavioral inhibition and processing and peer feedback in young children? Previous work shows us that children are generally pleased when accepted and disappointed when rejected by a hypothetical peer, and that variations in these responses might be linked to effortful control, so we wanted more insight into this. Inhibitory control is a portion of effortful control and involves the ability to inhibit a dominant response and is correlated with children's ability to regulate their emotions. Behavioral inhibition is a relatively stable temperament trait marked by poor socio-emotional outcomes like shyness or anxiety. So to test our question, we used three measures and a sample of 118 children around ages 5 to 7. The first measure was a behavioral inhibition questionnaire to measure BI. We also used a flanker task to measure inhibitory control via response time and a computerized playdate task that assessed emotional sensitivity to peer feedback. So in the playdate task, children viewed photos of peers and identified whether or not they wanted to play with each of these peers and then rated their feelings as they received peer feedback on whether or not the peer wanted to play with them back. So interestingly, we found that behaviorally inhibited children who were low in inhibitory control were least happy when accepted by peers that they did not want to play with. And we're thinking that these children's task inefficiency marked by higher reaction times on the flanker task is a potential result of cognitive busyness or intrusive, task irrelevant, or self-conscious thoughts. So we think that low inhibitory control might increase the likelihood for anxiety-based compensatory strategies in BI kids during cognitive tasks due to an imbalance in top-down goal-oriented attention and bottom-up stimulus-driven attention. So overall, our findings suggest that BI children low in inhibitory control might experience more discomfort when their expectations for social interactions aren't met, particularly when anticipating or navigating unwanted social interaction in a classroom or other social setting. So building on this work in the future, we hope to examine children's responses to peer feedback in a real-world dyadic task combined with physiological measures.